Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today I'm reviewing both versions of the new limited edition Coca-Cola Move. We have here Coca-Cola Move and Coca-Cola Move Zero. And apparently this is a some sort of a tie-in with the music artist Rosalia who I don't know anything about. I have some vague memory about some controversy about her some Latin artist complaining that she was in some awards category or something I can't remember but I listen to a lot of Latin music but it's Latin pop or rock in Espanol I think the golden age of Latin pop music is probably the mid to late 80s to the early 2000s and then much like American radio it has gone into the hip-hop realm at this point having said that I can't really comment on the music or the artist I just have some vague memory of a controversy in the newspapers because she's somebody who is like an award show critic favorite and that apparently rubbed some people the wrong way in the business. I don't know, can't remember. But on to the product at hand. It's not really clear what flavor this is supposed to be. The packaging I do like this sort of a vintage uh, red coke cap on top does have a little bit of a vintage look to it see it says limited edition you got this pink on one side the red creations logo in the center and then white on this side you have the Rosalia Autograph Transformation Flavored Got some kind of a butterfly Hearts Some other sort of doodles on there So nothing that is standing up in detail to the Mountain Dew labels of recent times more of an understated uh, aesthetic for this design and just more of the same on this one except you have black instead of white it's pretty much inverse you have an inverse uh, color scheme here the same design as the full sugar version you know I always go big here on the Robert Dyer channel so I've also got these boxes Got the big autograph, almost looks like a real Sharpie autograph on the box. This is the 10 mini cans box. And here's the sign. Got some kind of a smiley face there or something. You can see it a lot better than you do on the bottles. Much more real estate here, but at the same time, despite all the extra room, you still have this sort of understated design. Not really taking advantage of the full size of the box, just easier to see the details. I'm not sure if these colors are indicating anything about the flavor either. I also wonder when you're dealing with a music artist why there isn't a photograph on the box. You think you want to attract the attention of the fans going through the store. So that's kind of a surprising choice when you have an artist tie-in like this that you don't have the artist pictured on the packaging 
Okay, so let's get this open here. There she blows. Well, it's not what I expect from the pink and white label on here, but it's a strong coconut aroma. Pour out. Do we have any? Well, first of all, let me get this cap back on. The only thing worse than cold McDonald's french fries is a flat soda. So here we have pretty much a standard Coca-Cola color. But I feel like I got my nose stuck in a coconut here. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, it's definitely a coconut flavor. Kind of a surprising turn of events because I think the artist is from Spain and I don't really think about coconuts in Spain personally, but it gets weirder by the minute. It's definitely a sweet coconut. It reminds me of the great coconut they used to have on the coconut cakes I would eat when I was a kid from Giant, like the Easter Bunny cake. An easy to chew, very sweet coconut to the extent that when I was a kid I actually wanted a coconut cake. Now today, coconut that's used most of the time on commercial products, it's like a shredded up wood. You can't even chew it. I think it ends up just being swallowed whole. But this is the good kind of coconut. A very sweet coconut like you would use on it. Uh, maybe still today in a fine bakery or restaurant, but that you're rarely going to find in a commercial product in the grocery store. So it's a coconut which we've had recently from Mountain Dew a couple of times, I think. But not with a pineapple. I don't detect any pineapple here, just Coca-Cola and coconut. And the Coca-Cola flavor is still coming through as you would want it to, the classic Coke flavor. Now let's move on, as they say, Coca-Cola move to the zero version, zero sugar. This also has coconut aroma, not surprisingly. Let's get the cap on that. The aroma is a little more muted on this one. Let's go ahead and see how the Zero version tastes. Well, that's surprisingly good. It's got the same coconut flavor, but... Something very interesting happens with this that, you know, it has that sweet coconut and somehow it is completely masking that sort of, you know, even with these zero drinks, there's something that's not quite right about them. 
you know it's a zero sugar or a diet drink. There's something a little off about the taste, but on this particular flavor, this sweet coconut completely masks that, and it makes this a much sweeter than usual zero calorie, zero sugar drink. Transformation flavor. Did Governor DeSantis approve that? Are we allowed to say that in Florida? I was invited again to Mar-a-Lago for dinner by Donald Trump. He wanted to discuss incorporating ideas from our autonomous zone in Willoughby, Ohio. Into his Freedom Cities proposal, he asked, what should we have for dinner? I said, checkers just brought back their mushroom and Swiss burger with melted Swiss cheese roasted mushrooms and caramelized onions on a burger. That is hot stuff. You can get that a number of different places, including the checkers on Okeechobee Boulevard, right outside Mar-a-Lago. It's better than drunk to pish mode karaoke, or even rebooting yourself as a Brent tube and Stuart Smalling on the No Jumper Podcast. Well, I have to say this is indeed an unusual situation. There are a lot of odd things about this. Odd that the packaging doesn't reflect the coconut flavor. Odd that the packaging doesn't show a picture of the artist. Perhaps again kind of acknowledging that it's an artist who is more of a critic favorite as opposed to a mass audience. Someone who has someone who you would know if you saw their picture. So I think that kind of says a lot. What coconut has to do with Spain, I have no idea. Or with the artist, maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about something. But overall, is uh, I'm very hard to please when it comes to coconut if you haven't figured it out but this has a great sweet coconut flavor this is not the ideal or ultimate flavor I would want to have in a coke I think I like the starlight marshmallow better and my review of that I stand by the review of the particular bottle of it that I got that time but there was something odd about that particular bottle something went wrong at the factory and I got more starlight later and it was great I thought I got a whole lot of it before they stopped selling it so it was much better than my review bottle would have suggested and so I'm not quite as big on coconut as I was on that sort of toasted marshmallow flavor of the starlight. But this does allow more of the coke flavor to come through than the starlight did. But what's so weird about the review to top it off is that while I would prefer to eat to drink this sugar version if I had the choice between the two I'm actually going to rate the zero sugar higher because I think this is probably the best diet or zero soda I've ever had because the only one I've had so far that completely covers up any sort of odd off or chemical aftertaste to it and so while it still doesn't give you that little boost that the sugary drink does in terms of the flavor I think this is the most palatable and refreshing diet drink I've ever had so I really have to give credit to Coke for that 
So what I'm going to say is I'm going to give the regular full sugar version a very solid four stars out of five, but I am going to give Coca-Cola Move Zero Sugar five stars out of five. I would really recommend this if you're looking for a new diet drink, a sugar-free drink. And then I would recommend this if you like coconut, and I still don't know what transformation flavored means. Because what does coconut have to do with transformation? But I don't know, there's many mysteries surrounding this particular flavor drink for me. So until next time, I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.